a small fry out here. He looked but like a small. You're standing next to Jacob Reimer, who's 6'5", at least 230. Kopak. I think he was. Picked off. Trying to force it. This is Robert Haynes, and Haynes is off and running. My nephew. And Michigan Tech just put their hands on Northern Michigan. An 80-yard interception return for Robert Haynes. His fourth pick of the year. And this one, the exclamation point on this rivalry. Cue the band. Could you, could you tell that he's uh, the conference champion in the 100-yard dash on that one? Conference champ. That's my boy. 20, my nephew, 80 yards. That was a move. Look at it. I tell you what, you know, they said he's the best guy in the conference at, at the 100 yard uh, dash, and, and you saw Damn. it. And uh, man, that was that was awfully pretty. Coaches told us that Robert Haynes, as a senior, is now grown up and, and growing into his role. And certainly looked like at that time out of Lansing, Michigan, at Sexton High School. And here for the extra point is Cantalino. The first. It's the first turnover of the game. Back to that in a moment, but let's take another look at this one. A row, a white jersey getting waved on by his coaches on the sideline. Yeah, that, that's awfully impressive when you can run by your teammates, you know, celebrating and looking really, really fast. You know, he leads the conference in picks. He's used to making football plays, but there's none bigger than, than this one right now for the Miners Cup to sort of seal the deal. Musla couldn't catch it. Kopak couldn't catch it. And the market catch. And the fans of Northern Michigan. Oh, my Michigan. nephew. What up, nephew? Uh, a different outcome than they'll get. But the Michigan Tech faithful made that trip down, and they are ecstatic, to say the least. 34 second half points will bring the Huskies that trophy, the Miners' Cup. The band didn't bring their instruments yeah. inside the building. Oh, but Haynes brought his Jets. Tech man 